This is not my Gucci Maniacs. I'm back. I'm doing something different tonight. That's why you're not looking at me on camera. I'm going to share with y'all my vintage Star Wars figures. This will be one of six videos. This is Gooch Calls Out 132. These are 40 year old figures. The first one is Luke Skywalker. As you can see, really good shape. Still got his lightsaber and slides out of his arm. Next is Princess Leia. She's a little dirty. Some discoloration on her hair. Her cape is still with her. She's got her gun. Cape's a little rough, but that's Princess Leia. Then Han Solo. Again, very well played with. Got his gun. Not bad for a 40 year old figure. Chewbacca. This is one where all the limbs were the same color. They had a variation of him where some of them, uh, where the arms and legs were a different color than the body. There's a little scratch mark there on his face. He's been well played with. Next is C3PO. This one. Is only out on the Star Wars card and very briefly on the Empire Strikes Back card. Then it was replaced with the one with removable limbs, which you'll see in a later video. Um, most of these were given to me for Christmas by Santa Claus or aka my brother Frank, who was so happy to have a younger brother. Bought me anything and everything I wanted and spoiled me. Next one was R2-D2. He's kind of cool. I wish I had a way of doing this where y'all could see it. But uh, you can hear where he, where when you turn his head, he makes a little clicking noise. Again, not too bad of shape, a little dirty, but. Stickers faded a bit, but he's pretty good shape. Next is Darth Vader. As you can tell, Darth Vader is in really great shape. His lightsaber's faded a little bit from where I've had it out in the sun, but again, great shape for a 40 year old figure. Two of the ones from the 77 to 79 line. I don't have, or at least I haven't found them out in my shed yet, was the Blue Snaggletooth, which is a rare one, and the Droid Factory R2-D2, which is another rare one. If I find them, they will show up in a later video. Next is Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ben Kenobi, great shape, you see his lightsaber. Slides out just like Luke and Vader's. Next is X Wing Fighter Pilot Luke. A lot of people call him an X Wing Fighter, but they don't realize that this is Luke. This was the second Luke figure made. He only came with a gun. I don't have the gun. The gun is the same gun that Han Solo came with. Next is the Stormtrooper. As you can see, complete. Legs are a little yellowish, but. Great shape. Again, not bad for 40 year old figures. Next is R5D4. Again, the sticker is a little dirty and discolored, but the figure itself is in great shape. He too, you could turn his head and make noises. Next is Greedo. Uh, a lot of these do not look like they're movie versions because uh, Hasbro, uh, Kenner, I mean Kenner, yeah, Kenner got black and white photos from the waist up of some of these characters so they did not know how to make these characters the correct way because Lucas wanted to keep everything kind of secret. Next is the Jawa. Now this is the second version of the Jawa. 
with the cloth cape. I never got the one with the vinyl cape, which is worth a lot more money. Basically the same Jawa figure though. Next is the Goink Joint, or Power Joint. As you can see, he's in pretty good shape. His stickers are still on him. Uh, again, I didn't play with this one as much as I did some of the other ones. This one was one of my favorite ones, Hammerhead. You call him Hammerhead, see his head was shaped like a hammer. He was in the cantina. I used to love using this dude for everything. Even when I played with my Star Trek figures that were three and a quarter inch, I would make him part of the crew or make him some sort of strange alien they come across. And I used to love playing with this particular character. He's one of my favorites just because of the way he looked. Next is Walrus Man. There he is with his webbed feet. Another cool figure. Next is the Death Star. The Death Star Destroy. The Death. Uh, the Star Destroyer Commander, which originally they called him the. Uh, Death Squad Commander. As you notice, he's in pretty good shape. Like I said, a lot of these are missing their weapons. But for 40 year old figures, they're in great shape. And I've looked them up and they're worth a lot of money. Some of them are. The red snaggletooth, the blue one was taller, had silver boots. Basically the same outfit. And same face and all. It's just that uh, he had a different color to his skin. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I got the blue one out in my shed somewhere. I just hadn't found him. He's got his gun, of course. All around great figure. Next one is not in best of shape. It's R5D. It's the, the Death Star droid. As you can tell, he's been played with quite a bit. I, uh, his limbs are really loose. I used to bump this guy around a lot. I used to toss him around. I used to bang this guy around. You can see some of his silver paint is chipped a little bit. But this guy always got the brunt of, of things. But he's the only one, he's one of the few that are not in great shape. Two different sand people. They're missing their cape and staffs. One of them's in a lot better shape than the other. Uh, but I played with them a lot. And of course the last one released on a Star Wars card was a mail order first. And the only one to come out in 79 which was Boba Fett. This was originally intended to be a mail order where right here you push a little button right here and would shoot this out. But for safety concerns they went ahead and glued them in and put this thing over it. This concludes my first video of a toy review. If you like this, please like, give me a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook then just let me know in the comments and I'm striving to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube if we do get a thousand subscribers on YouTube I will 